Welcome everybody, Film Fan 108 here, and it's that time again. My Blu-ray pickup video for October of 2017, and oh my god, look at this crazy, crazy stack I got. Oh yeah, I told you guys in the Blu-ray pickups video for September that I was saving up my money because October was going to be a big haul for me. And I wasn't kidding. It definitely, definitely was. So without further ado, let's get this started with a Blu-ray pickup that actually was supposed to be coming out in September, but it ended up getting pushed back a little bit into October, and that is The Devil's Honey. And this is by Severin. And you know what? I was kind of really looking forward to this because I was interested in it simply from the fact of it's Lucio Fulci. It's one of his later movies. It's one that I hadn't seen before. And I was actually really curious about it. And the slipcover here comes only through Severin. You can't get it anywhere else. If you order it through Amazon, you're not going to get the slipcover. And if you look, the slipcover is right here. Yeah, a little bit of a naughty slipcover. And also it comes with artwork that's different as well. Very nice artwork as well. And basically, this is a very sleazy movie. It basically deals with a woman who... Um, her boyfriend is basically killed um kind of on accident by this doctor who um is sort of not having a good day he didn't perform the procedures properly and he dies and the patient dies and basically she goes out for revenge against him it's it's like i said it's sleazy it's got a it's got a ton of nudity in it and it's basically a really cool little film from Lucio Fulci, his later movies. The best movie I love of his is definitely Zombie, but this is actually really, really cool. And the picture quality is not the greatest on this release, but I don't think that you could do much with the picture. I think it was a very low-budget film, but I think this was a really fantastic movie. And it was the slipcover, the slip cover, by the way, was limited to a 1,000. And if, I don't know if you could see it, but I got 333 out of 1,000. And the special features here, you have interviews with two of the actors, one of the producers, composer. Um, you have alternate opening, theatrical trailer. You have an audio essay, a bunch of stuff with it. And you know what, it's definitely worth it. If you guys haven't picked it up or haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. It's worthy, it's a great film here. Lucio Fulci's The Devil's Honey, absolutely worth it. I love that movie. Also, the next movie I got from Arrow, and I was really excited for this release, and that is A Fish Called Wanda. And as you can see right here, you got the nice slip cover here with the new art and also the original art as well the, the original theatrical art too and i actually had the dvd and this is an upgrade to blu-ray and i was really excited for this release because i'm a big fan of this movie i don't love a lot of british comedies it's only very rare that i like a good british comedy but this is fantastic jamie lee is awesome in this Kevin Klein is fantastic, Michael Palin, John Cleese, everybody is amazing in this movie. It's funny as hell, and I was interested to see how, basically, Arrow was going to handle this release, because there's already a lot of special features on the DVD, and they have a ton of stuff. You have a brand new 4K restoration, which looks absolutely fantastic. You have... You have basically commentary from the writer and star John Cleese. You have John Cleese's final farewell performance, a documentary on the making of A Fish Called Wanda. You have brand new appreciation by one of the people in the National Archives. You have a brand new interview with the production designer. 
you have delete alternate scenes, you have a ton of stuff here. It's absolutely a beautiful release. Arrow does an amazing job with this. Definitely, definitely worth it. A Fish Called Wanda. And then the next release I got, I was also extremely excited about because I couldn't wait till they came out with the standard version of it, and that is Popcorn. And yeah, I love that theatrical art. That is beautiful theatrical art right there. And basically, Synapse came out with this release actually a while back in a steelbook form. And I gotta admit, I wasn't a fan of the steelbook. I really wasn't. I didn't really like the steelbook. I just thought it was eh, okay. I didn't want to pay the $50 price tag for the steelbook. And I, wait. I said, you know what, I'm going to wait until the standard release comes out. But I was worried that we were not going to get the special features that we got on the Steelbook that basically they released earlier. That's not the case. All of this comes with the same kinds of special features, so no worry about losing any of that stuff. And also on this as well, they also have different art as well on this release also. And as you can see right there as well here, diff different kind of art there as well. And this movie is really great. If you haven't checked it out, it's basically about a college student who is in this film class and they're going to revive these three sort of B-level horror movies for like this horror-thon that they're going to do to raise money. And all the while, um, there's this underground film uh, that this killer a long time ago almost finished but didn't and he is coming back for revenge and it's kind of a cool little slice of 80s B movie. I like it a lot. I think it's actually really cool and Synapse does an amazing job. The picture quality is outstanding on this release and you get audio commentary, you get a making of popcorn, you get an interview with one of the actors, you get theatrical trailer and TV spots, still gallery, you get a ton of stuff with this release. Synapse did an amazing job on popcorn. Definitely, definitely worth it. And the next release I got is absolutely fantastic as well. I couldn't wait for this release too. When I heard it was coming out, I had to pre-order it immediately. And that was 976 Evil and that wonderful slip cover there. I love sort of the sort of almost used slipcover look. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Little special features on the back there, really cool as well. And you know what? 976 Evil is fantastic. Robert Englund directs this movie and he did an awesome, awesome job at this. And you know what? It's about this sort of nerdy guy who is trying to be cool like this like this one guy he knows and he ends up sort of calling into this sort of radio hotline that basically says like oh if you follow these instructions you'll you know you'll get everything you want basically and he does that and eventually it turns him evil it turns him into you know this sort of almost like monster type of killer guy and it's absolutely fantastic. I love this movie so much. And this movie actually comes with an all new commentary with Robert Englund and Nancy Booth Englund. And it's a great commentary. He does an awesome job explaining the movie, talking about you know the experience making it, the release of it, everything. It's absolutely fantastic. And you know what? It's actually not that much money right now on Amazon. If you guys haven't checked it out, definitely give it a chance. 976 Evil, absolutely worth it. And the next release I got, I'm a big fan of the series, and I definitely had to get it. And that was Cult of Chucky. And a nice slipcover there, this lentic lenticular steel, lenticular cover, I should say. And you know what? I did a Netflix Nights on this for Cult of Chucky, so if you haven't checked it out, definitely go ahead and do that. 
And this is a great movie. You know, I really like all the Chucky movies. I thought Curse was a really great Chucky movie as well. And I was really looking forward to see what they would do with Call. I thought Don Mancini did an amazing job with this movie. I thought Fiona Dourif, who comes back again from Curse, does a great job as well. Brad Dourif comes back and voices Chucky again, does a great job. You also have, um, I believe, yeah, Jennifer Tilly is in this. You also have, I believe, well, you have Alex Vincent from Child's Play 1 and 2 who comes back in it, and he's fantastic as well. It's such a great, great movie. And they kind of set up for a sequel, so I assume they're making another one. Don Mancini says that he knows pretty much what the sequel is going to be. I'm down for it. It's an absolute great release. And this has deleted scenes. It has Inside the Insanity of Called of Chucky, Good Guy Gone Bad, The Incarnations of Chucky. You have feature commentary by the director and the associate producer puppeter. Um, or Puppeteer, I should say, uh, Tony Gardner. Yeah, this is a great release. And I didn't buy the the box set of all the films because I have the old box set. So I really like that one a lot and I didn't really want to get rid of it. So I just bought the singular release. But you know what? I thought both releases are really cool. And you know what? It's absolutely worth it. It's such a great movie, man. I'm big, a big Chucky fan. Can't wait for the next one. And the next one I got, actually, I ended up picking up at Scaricon. I went to one of the booths, and I saw a lot of great releases I wanted. Some of them I held back on, but this one I couldn't. I thought I got a great deal on it, and that was Dr. Butcher, MD. As you can see right there. Yeah, look, I like that cover, yeah. And also, it comes with... The other cover to it is, show this, is Zombie Holocaust as well. The other name for the movie as well. And you know what? I couldn't pass it up. Red Letter Media ended up doing one of their sort of best of the worst episodes and had this on there. And I love cheesy, terrible movies sometimes. And this is one of those ones where... Yes, it's cheesy. Yes, the acting is, yeah, you know, but I love it just the same. It feels like a, a zombie ripoff practically, and it kind of is, but it's so fun, and, and you know what? I really love this release a lot because it's got two discs on it. It's got both of the versions completely uncut. It's got interviews with the actors. It's got... It's got documentaries on the 42nd Street back in the day. It's got it's got inside the locations of the movie, the theatrical trailer. It's got so much stuff in this. And basically, there was another version of this movie that's out of print that he was selling for $40. And this version he was selling for $30. And I thought, well, God, I get two discs. I get two different cuts of the movie. And also this release comes with, and I love this too, it comes with a Dr. Butcher MD barf bag. Yes, this is a barf bag that is part of the release of Dr. Butcher. And it is absolutely fantastic. The special features... Um, Severin did an amazing job with this release. It is absolutely fantastic. I got to give them props on this. And I thought for $30, Amazon is pretty much selling it for the same type of price. So I thought I was getting a pretty good deal. And I think I did. And I want to know from you guys, there's Dr. Butcher, MD, and there's Zombie Holocaust. Which cover should I use? Because... I kind of want to use the Dr. Butcher MD one, but I kind of really like that cover for Zombie Holocaust. So I don't know which one to use. Because I could switch them out every now and again, but I'm like, I'm going to have to switch them in my, in my Blu-ray shelf. And I'm kind of like, ah, uh, the hassle of that. So I don't know. What do you guys 
think? Do you guys think I should use one or the, one or the other? Should I switch off? What do you guys, if you have this release, what do you guys do? Let me know. I really love this release. I cannot wait to put it on the shelf. I definitely, definitely am going to enjoy it. Put that barf bag back in there. All right, and the next release I got from Kino Lorber, and I was really happy that they were releasing it because I was a big fan of this movie back in the day when my mother ended up having it on a VHS tape, and that is The Flamingo Kid. And you know what? I really like this movie. I think Matt Dillon does a great job, and I remember back in the day when I was a kid watching this, my mother had it on one of the VHS tapes. And again, this is another movie that... When I was younger, I probably shouldn't have been watching it. I probably should have not been watching this at all. And it's got, you know, some little bit of nakedness in there, a little bit of swearing, everything. And you're kind of thinking to yourself, boy, as a kid, should I be really watching this movie? But that's the great thing about sometimes parents. They'll just let you, let you go and watch something. And, you know, I think I turned out all right, all things being considered. But, you know... It was a great, great comedy and a great sort of coming of age tale of Matt Dillon being this sort of guy who is part of this sort of resort where there's big sort of card gambling going on and he sort of wants to get in on the action and sort of everything that ensues from there. It's a really great movie. The picture quality is just eh, okay. But it does come with an audio commentary by actor-filmmaker Pat Healy and film curator Jim Healy and a trailer gallery as well. So not a lot of special features, but just enough. And yeah, it's a great release. I, I love the cover. The cover is great, man. Love the cover so much. Yeah, I'm definitely excited about this release from Kino Lorber. And the next release, I definitely, definitely love this movie. When I saw it in the theater... And that is Baby Driver. And Ron and I did a movie review for Baby Driver. It's on the movie review playlist if you guys want to check it out. We loved the movie. It was absolutely fantastic. Kevin Spacey, uh, Ansel Elgore, Lily James, uh, Jamie Foxx, everybody is awesome in this movie. And you know, I'm not a fan of everything that Edgar Wright has done. I think his strongest movie is definitely Shaun of the Dead, but I think this is right up there. And this is a movie that, you know, made him over $100 million at the box office, rightfully so. It's got fantastic music in it, likable characters, the action scenes just pop off the screen. It is absolutely a blast to watch. And, you know, it, it really is sort of worth your time to watch it. I know there's a lot of movies that people say, oh, they're fantastic, they're great, watch it. This is one of those movies that you definitely have to watch. And, you know, it comes with, you know, audio commentary, it comes with deleted scenes, it comes with extended scenes, it comes with sort of uh, talking about the music of the movie and everything like that. Yeah, this is a fantastic, fantastic release. Baby Driver is awesome. Definitely check it out if you get a chance, guys. And the next one I got, and I ended up contacting Fred Olin Ray about, dare I say, I contacted him probably late August, early September, and I said, I love this movie. Is it ever going to get a Blu-ray release? And he said, we're working on it, and it came out, and I'm so happy it did, and that is evil tunes i can't wait for you guys to check this out if you haven't checked it out already ready definitely do it and this is the 25th silver anniversary edition and it is also signed by fred olin ray himself he actually signed it as well he signed every copy of this movie right now they are on amazon and I believe they're going for about 20 bucks, so you can get it for a really good price. And um, one of the pickup videos that I did a while back, I showed you guys Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, also directed by Fred Olin Ray. And 
man, he does a great job with this movie. It's made in the 90s, and it's very cheesy. It's about these three women who basically need some extra money, and they go clean this sort of spooky house, and they find this book, and this book resurrects this sort of evil entity that is like a a cartoon and basically the cartoon sort of inhabits another woman and starts killing people and it's it's cheesy it's over the top it's, it's ridiculous and i love the hell out of it and you know i was so happy that fred olin ray put it out and i want to say thank you to him for signing every copy you are dedicated sir Absolutely, I think you are incredibly talented, and I'd love one day to meet you because I think you are a very, very creative dude. I'd just love to pick your brain. I mean, just movies like this just make me think of what's inside your brain, man. But this has a new director's commentary. It has a making of video, a animation background plate FX test. It has blooper reel. It has basically uh, editor's work print and again it's limited to a thousand copies and they're all signed by the director himself again this is a great release and I'm so happy this finally got a blu-ray release I've been waiting a while for this and I'm glad that it finally did evil tunes and the next one was an exclusive that I got from Target I really love this exclusive. I thought it was actually the best exclusive out of everything that I saw. And that is Spider-Man Homecoming. And this is the edition that came from Target. You can see right there, the edition right there and everything. And of course, right there as well. And I love this movie, man. Bob, Ron, and I did a movie review for it. Uh, and it's on the movie review playlist. We love the hell out of this movie. They did Spider-Man right on this movie. They did him right. Peter Parker is funny. We thought that the Spider-Man stuff was great. The action is great. Michael Keaton, who plays the Vulture, is just a fantastic villain. It really felt like they really did put a lot of effort into this movie because they wanted to do Spider-Man right. And I think they did. I think they got it right. I think they got it absolutely fantastic. And you know what? I don't know if you can pick this release up still. I think you can. You can go on Target.com or maybe they have it still in Target stores. And you know, this has a lot of great stuff and it has deleted and extended scenes, gag reel, featurettes, alternate Captain America PSAs, um, and much, much more. I wish there would have been a commentary on this. I would have loved to hear their thoughts on a commentary. But, eh, you know, it's, it's okay. It's not terrible. You know, it is what it is. But, you know, I really love this. And, you know, it also comes with some really fantastic stuff in here. Really, it's got all this really great, great stuff in here as well. Yeah, fantastic release. Fantastic as well. Awesome. Yeah, this is a great release. And I think this is the best exclusive that Spider-Man Homecoming had. And I really wanted to pick it up. I'm glad I did. If you haven't had a chance, watch it. You're going to love it. And the next release is also an exclusive. And it's one that I wanted. I heard about it. I had to get it. And that is Stranger Things on Blu-ray and DVD. The VHS, look at this. VHS Hi-Fi, Stranger Things. Look at that VHX box. It looks beautiful. This thing looks absolutely gorgeous. It's awesome. And if you open it up here, it looks just like a VHS tape. But if you open it up right here, and it comes with all this wonderful stuff here. And if you open it up like this, it also comes with the discs like this and also has a little bit of wonderful inside there as well. Yeah, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous release. It's exclusive only to Target. I was happy to find one that wasn't damaged. It, and you know what, there's no special features on here. I kind of was hoping there was commentary or making ofs, but you know what? 
the packaging more than makes up for it. Stranger Things, if you haven't watched it, season one is on Netflix. Season two just came out. And basically, as this says, it's a love letter to the 80s classics. It's set in 1983, Indiana. A young boy vanishes. His friends try to find him. The mother is trying to find him. And everybody is sort of figuring, trying to figure out where this boy went. In the meantime, there's this young girl who escapes this sort of facility. And she has powers. And she befriends the... Um, the kids in, in the show and sort of, you know, the scientists are trying to find her and the sheriff is trying to figure out what happened to the boy who basically got lost and it's just such a wonderful movie, man. It's such, like I said, it's a love letter to the 80s and it's such a fantastic movie and I'm so happy to get this. I love the worn look in there and everything. It's such a fantastic release. If you haven't picked it up, Target still has a ton of these. So definitely pick it up if you have the chance, because I think it's only like 25 bucks. It's a steal. For packaging like this, it's beautiful. Definitely. Stranger Things, Season 1, VHS packaging, amazing. And the next release I got was announced a while back, and I could not wait to finally get it. And that is Rawhead Rex. I love Rawhead Rex, and this is great. It also ends up coming with different art as well. Yeah, very beautiful art. And I believe it also comes with, it comes with a booklet as well. And the booklet is absolutely amazing also. And I believe different, di different art as well. The art is a little bit di different also. And Rawhead Rex is really about this sort of folk legend that um, gets resurrected and comes back to um, kill as many people as possible, take people over, and sort of uh, just basically, you know, kill people. It's out, it's out for revenge, it's out for killing, and basically this guy who is a historian, he ends up actually... Um, getting caught in the crosshairs of this and he ends up trying to battle Rawhead Rex to try to get revenge on losing his son and this is written by I believe the screenplay is by Clive Barker and Clive does an amazing job with this I love the story I love the creature the creature looks so badass and cool and the movie's cheesy yes it is but, you know, there's something about it that I just love. I just love these practical effects. I love the practical effect creatures. It looks real. Cheesy as it may be, it actually looks real and I'm invested in it. I think it's awesome. And you get an audio commentary. You get interviews by the actors, interviews by um, the FX crew members. You get interviews by the cameraman. You get interviews by the co-creators. You get a booklet essay. And this, again, this has, this is a 4K restoration, and it looks beautiful, guys. Kino Lorber did a really fantastic job with this release, and I think this is the best it's going to ever look. I really do. It is absolutely a gorgeous movie. And again, you know, again, if you guys haven't picked it up or haven't saw Rawhead Rex, I absolutely recommend it. Fantastic movie. And the next release I got, I actually got through their website, I had heard nothing but good things, and it lived up to all of them, and that is The Barn. And this release is actually signed by, by if you can see that, signed by the directors, signed by all the actors. Uh, Linnea Quigley signed this, Ari Lehman signed this, everybody. It's a beautiful, beautiful release. And... Yeah, you get this cover, and you also get, on the other side of this, you also get nice, cool art as well on the reverse. And the barn is sort of a throwback to the 80s, and basically, it's basically about these kids, and there's this legend about going to this barn, and you don't go to this barn because there's these three sort of 
supernatural killers that will come out and attack you and kill you and you know of course these kids don't listen and they go to the barn anyways and you know hell ensues from there and I love the look of the the creatures I love the 80s feel to it and you know I thought it was just a great throwback to the 80s and man I just really loved it a lot I thought they did a fantastic job with this the barn is amazing and the special features here you get audio commentary you get the making of documentary a gag reel deleted and extended scenes alternate endings trailers you get a ton of stuff here. It's it's absolutely fantastic. And again, this version that I got it was actually signed by everybody. And man, it's going to be worth it in the end. Because I think this is one that's going to catch on really well over the years. The Barn. And the last three releases that I got are some really cool ones as well. I got the DVD of WNUF Halloween Special. Look at this very cool thing. And the director ended up, um, I talked to the director through Facebook and, you know, I asked him if he could send me the DVD copy. Of course, I ended up paying for it. And, you know, he was very happy to send it out to me. And this movie, guys, I think is going to be one of those movies that, honestly, down the line is going to be one of those classics, just like Halloween or Trick or Treat is. This is going to be one of those classics, and it's about this um, this sort of reporter who's doing this sort of story about Halloween, and he gets caught up in sort of this whole, like, haunted ghost story and everything like that, and it's just really cool 80s throwback, like the barn is. It's actually really cool 80s throwback. And they even film sort of these 80s commercials in between sort of the broadcast that the reporter's doing, kind of to give it that more 80s feel to it. And it's so, so cool. And, you know, not only did I get this, but the director also ended up sending me these stickers, this toxic high school stickers. And I don't know if these are worth money. I have no idea about these. If you guys do, let me know. He was really cool to send these to me. I haven't opened it yet. I don't think I ever will. And he also ended up sending me the comic book that he did with another writer called Burial Plots. And it's actually really cool. And I was really happy that he sent me this. I wasn't expecting it. And I want to thank the director. The director is actually Chris LaMartina. And I also own his other film that he did, Call Girl of Cthulhu. And I got to tell you, he's a great guy. He's a great director. And he's really one of those guys that I think just has a lot more fantastic movies under his belt still to go. And you know what? This is a great movie. WNUF Halloween Special. If you haven't checked it out, definitely go ahead and do that. And also, I ended up picking up War for the Planet of the Apes on Blu-ray. And man, you know, this movie, when it came out, didn't get a lot of love at first. It didn't make a lot of money. Bob and I ended up doing a movie review. It's under the movie review playlist. And... You know what? This is a great sort of end to a trilogy. I know they've been talking about wanting to do more Apes movies. Just don't. Stop it. Do not do any more. This movie is absolutely fantastic. And you know what? I think this is the type of movie that I think that, you know, I think the more you watch it, the more you appreciate it more and more, especially if you watch all three back to back to back. I think you really will love it even more. I love the action in this. I love the CGI with the apes. It's tremendous. Woody Harrelson is a fantastic villain in this. Andy Serkis is amazing. And basically the story is still about the apes. And this takes place a little time after dawn. The apes are still being hunted. They're at war with the humans. And they just want to be left alone. And the, the humans are not doing that. And they're going from place to place to try to survive. 
And eventually the confrontation happens where they have to go against the humans and fight back. And it's a tremendous movie. Definitely, if you haven't checked it out, definitely go ahead and do it. It's such a fantastic movie. And it definitely has nods to the original Planet of the Apes series. And it's just, to me, it's absolutely awesome. Definitely pl war, f yeah, war for the Planet of the Apes. Definitely, definitely check it out. I love the slip cover. I love that. I love the little emblem there as well. And I know that people are going to complain about the slip cover and how it's not Caesar's face. But I got to tell you, it's a minor complaint at best. I think this movie is still tremendous regardless, whether you hate the fact that they didn't have the proper slip cover on it or not. It's still a fantastic movie. Give it a look and definitely buy it if you're into it, like me. I love the Planet of the Apes series so much. And also, last but certainly not least, is the Screen Factory Collector's Edition of Dawn of the Dead. And as you can see, the new commissioned artwork right there, very nice. And also, you also get the theatrical art as well, which is very cool. And you know what, I know people sort of bag on this film a little bit. And I want to say that, is this better than George Romero's Dawn of the Dead? No. George Romero's Dawn of the Dead is the better film, no doubt about it. But I think this is actually one of the better zombie movies to come out during the 2000s. I think that it's one of the better remakes to come out in a very long time. I think it's absolutely fantastic remake. I shit on a lot of remakes from time to time, but it's, it's nice to give some love to some remakes as well. And this is a fantastic remake. It's absolutely awesome. And you know what? I think Screen Factory did a fantastic job with this. You have new 4K master from the 2K digital intermediate from both the theatrical and the unrated. You have new interviews with James Gunn and the various actors, special makeup effects artists. You have new behind the scenes footage. Plus you have all of the older special features as well, commentaries and featurettes. It's a great release, and it's actually a really cool movie. And like I said, you know, if you're if you're kind of like, eh, I don't know, it's from Zack Snyder. Trust me, this is one of the better Zack Snyder movies. In my opinion, it's probably his best movie. Well, it's either between that or Watchmen. But I do really love this movie. I think Zack Snyder did an amazing job with this. And it's definitely, definitely worth your time to at least check it out. The Dawn of the Dead remake. And you know what, that'll do it for the Blu-ray pickup video for October. And guys, look, look at this stack, man. This stack is crazy, man. This is a crazy stack. I told you guys I was going to have a lot of stuff for October. I hope I didn't disappoint you. I definitely didn't disappoint me. I definitely am going to have fun with some of these tot titles and it's going to be a pain putting them in the collection, but it'll definitely be worth it. And next month, I definitely will not get half as much as I got this time around, but I think there's some really cool stuff in November coming up that I can't wait to pick up and show you guys. But until then... I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you've enjoyed the content I've been doing. And if you have, hit subscribe and you will get more of it. Also, I am on Twitter and Facebook, FilmFan108. So check me out there as well. Alright guys, I will see you next time for another Blu-ray pickup video. Take care guys.